Hello everybody, welcome back and now that the 3.2.1 update is live I think it's a nice opportunity to go around, visit some locations and try to make some money Well actually we're not going to make money today but we are going to try and find some decent good trading routes and this is a nice opportunity for me to show you how I approach the whole uh, subject of finding a trading route in the persistent universe right now uh, the truth is that we need to claim the catalyst black okay so the truth is that uh, right now in the persistent universe is very easy to find trading routes and this is because what we have as a playable area is rather tiny so it is easy to jump from uh, port Olsar to all if you like outposts another the other two major hubs and find viable items viable goods and commodities not items to sell so while we are waiting for the catalyst black let's take a look at the commodities that are available here in port olsa This is what we have, agricultural supplies, fluorine, medical supplies, gold, scrap and waste. So when I try to decide which trading route is good for me and will net me a good profit, I usually buy all of them, all of the available commodities of the port of the hub, Port Olsa in our case, and I visit the outposts, I think we'll buy them for a nice price. So what I'm going to do now is buy one unit of each commodity. I said one unit. And we're going to visit a couple outposts today I have some in mind for specific reasons I will explain soon it's not possible to visit all of the outposts today but you can do it if you like in one two evenings if you are really determined so we're not flying blindly we're not looking blindly for trading routes we do know that specific outposts sell and buy specific commodities and we are going to focus on these outposts like for example we know that uh, medical supplies will sell well in uh, mining outposts and from those outposts we can buy minerals to sell back to Port Olisar selling gold or fluorine to a mining outpost it's not going to net us a good profit or any profit in that case with the changes in trading and cargo activities in the 3.1 update locations do not buy anymore back the commodities they have sold to you and they do not buy the same commodities they are selling no matter if you have bought them from somewhere else one thing I really want to see eventually in Star Citizen Chains is this one. Let me show you. The fact that you cannot see what this location and every other location want to buy unless we have it in our cargo hold. As you can see, we bought all these commodities from Port Olsar and we cannot sell them to Port Olsar. I would really love to see this change in the future. I really hope this is part of the upcoming sometime in the future balance on cargo activities because that will make it much easier to calculate profits and find trading routes once the persistent universe and the standard system is fully implemented. I will be checking today two locations that used to be really good in the previous update and I want to see if they still are good 
for cargo activities. The first one is at Selin, Tram and Myers Mining. And this is where we are heading right now. Now the good thing about the new Quadum travel system is that it takes us really close. We end up at around 50 to 70 kilometers away while before in previous updates we had to travel around 100 to 100 maybe a bit more if I remember correctly. So it does help us a lot with profit per hour and it helps us make more money by reaching our destination faster. The problem with this update and cargo activities is that the profit margins were lowered again and we cannot make much money out of the various commodities we are selling. I do hope this is going to change and will be part of the balance I so desperately want to see in uh, cargo activities and cargo gameplay. I think we are good. I don't see anyone around. Uh, one thing you need to, to be careful of is that this location, Tram and Miles Mine, is not an armistice zone. And that means that if someone wants to mess with you, they will probably mess with you. And actually, this is my second attempt today <laughs> to reach Tram and Miles Mining. Earlier today, someone was coming the area. And yeah, he did kill me, unfortunately. Let's land. Check the prices. Okay, this is an easy outpost. There is basically only one building. In bigger outposts with several buildings, you want to look for the one that is labeled as storage. And this is where you can find the trading kiosk. Unfortunately, we have some stuttering closer to the outpost, but in general, the performance is rather good today. First, let's check, oh yeah, only medical supplies, but the price is really good. It's a 0 0.95 profit per unit, which is one of the best at the moment in the game. Uh, let's see what we can buy. Aluminium, Corundum, Diamond and Laranit. Laranit is, I think, the best. So let's get one of each and return to Port Olsa. I do prefer the Catalyst Black for this kind of activity, flying around, finding trading routes. And this is because of its cargo capacity. It can carry 46 SEU of cargo capacity, which means that you can have 46 individual commodities aboard your vessel and this simply makes taking prices all over the place easy of course you can use other vessels like the constellation that has a 96 if i remember correctly seu of cargo capacity but the catalyst black is faster and it will get you faster to your destination it will be easier to check more locations more outposts like this so let's see what kind of profit we can make from this trading route portals are to tram and miles mining at selene selling to tram and Myers medical supplies from portals are 
and buying from Travel Miles to sell back to Port Olisar Laranit. Let's take a look what we can sell. Laranit goes for 28.54 to Port Olisar, which is a profit of 1.09. Alpha UEC per unit. So in total from this trading route we are getting a profit of 2.04 Alpha UEC per unit. And the Catalyst Black can carry 4,600 units which translates to 9,384 Alpha UEC per complete route according to my trust calculator. So this is a quite good trading route. It used to be the second best in 3.1 and this is why I want to check it. Aluminium is at 1.22, Corundum is at 2.58, Diamond is at 6.80 and Titanium is at 2.29. Not the best if you are going for the maximum profit but it's really good if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Aluminium has a profit of 0.05 Alpha UEC and it is a good commodity if you are low on funds. But the problem with this route is that you can only sell to Tram Myers medical supplies which cost a lot. So this is one of the best I believe routes in the game right now and you will have to spend some money to make more money. Now let's get out of here and uh, there is another location I want to check this time on Daymar. So we are orbiting Daymar at the moment and the outpost I want to check if the Quantum Travel decides to activate <laughs> uh, is... where is it? The Arcop Mining Area 141 There you are, which used to be the best trading route in the 3.1 update Now we have to find the storage building which I think is this one next to the bigger landing pad and that freelancer under the beautiful crusader this is where you can find the trading kiosk but also the administrator NPC that will help you in various missions well at least that used to be the case I think it still is Let's see what uh, we can sell From our Catalyst Black only medical supplies at the same price So we have zero profit from the medical supplies here That sucks We can already forget this trading route There is no no point doing it, no matter how good Agrisium is going to be. Let's uh, let's see though, what is the price? Agrisium is at 25.72 Beryl at 4.20 Quartz at 1.39 It's not really very promising and tungsten at 390. Well I'm I'm very disappointed with medical supplies. So let's go back and see what we can make from aggression. Not that it really matters anymore. Well it will matter if we can make three alpha <laughs> UEC per unit, but I doubt that this is going to be the case. Aggression 2572. That's the same price. So zero profit, we can forget that place at Daymar. Beryl has a 0 010 profit, which is decent, it's nice if uh, there was something that we could buy from Port Olesa and sell it back to Daymar and mine area 141. Quartz has a 0 0.01 alpha UEC profit and tungsten 0.04 alpha UEC profit okay so this is a terrible trade route that you should stay away <laughs> it is really not a good trading route the first trading route we saw was 
He's one of the best right now, I think, in the game. And uh, 2.04 Alpha UC profit per unit is quite decent. You can make good money in a relatively short time. It takes around 10 minutes to go and 10 minutes to return, something like that. It's not really that far thanks to the changes to the quantum travel. Either way, this is how I approach the whole subject of finding a trading route. There are more trading routes out there based on other variables, on how much money you have, how fast you want to make money, or if you want to make the best money. I think the one we found today is really good, 2.04 alpha UEC per unit is a decent amount of money. It's around 9.4, 9.3, 9.4 K alpha UEC which is a much better payout than mining at the moment, most mining, unless you find some really viable deposits. And you can make that money relatively fast. It takes around 10 minutes to go and 10 minutes to return, something like that. This is everything I wanted to share with you today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.